this rather fetching thing. They decide, oh, this guy's an idiot. It is not worth me spending. I guess time to fire my editor. Greetings, my Moroccan juicy fruit loop. Uh, it's Monday morning, feeling fresh. Uh, I had this thought, right, for the socials automation. So clips from here that go on TikTok. I've been editing them with a, what I would call like a retention clip underneath, so the gameplay. And I'm having second thoughts on that because I'm thinking by adding that, I'm taking away from the thing that I'm meant to be promoting, which is me, the like, just whatever crap I'm saying. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Um, but I thought, as I was editing this morning, I normally watch and edit my videos on 2x speed. And it, the flow feels much better because I pause a lot in between uh, small sentences. Not the sentence, I pause like in the middle of the sentence. Deliver some packages. And that got me thinking, what if I do this? What if the caption for the video actually goes in like the title, the caption section, genius, <laughs> instead of being a text on screen, we maintain the, um, the captions for what I'm saying, but we make those very simple, no retention clip, and we just make my video bigger. So it takes up like, I don't know, three quarters of the screen. So it almost looks square on the screen. And then I put the speed at 1.5x. I think that's more, I think that's more in line with where I want to go. Less editing. Um, and I think it portrays my videos a bit better, like the simplicity of it. And I think this all goes back, like let's say, I think you could argue that Let's say I keep the video as is. We don't change it, we don't make... Yeah, we don't change it at all. It's still just talking like this, okay? But you could argue, why wouldn't you do better thumbnails? Why wouldn't you optimize your titles? And the thinking I have is that I don't wanna do that because I don't want to give the wrong portrayal of what the video is going to be. Like I don't wanna set the expectations too high and someone comes into the video think it's gonna be one thing and they leave after three seconds because actually it's a very different thing. Like that doesn't help me whatsoever. Like it makes the, what you would call the click-through rate higher, but then it reduces the retention time. Now you could argue that this goes both directions. You could say, well, if you get more people to click on the video, there's a higher chance that they will enjoy watching the content. There's, there's a higher chance that, that you'll find someone to enjoy watching the content. Yes, but let's say, let's say you have a hundred people click and they all watch, you know, and the, and the average watch time becomes something like 20 seconds. Versus if you have 10 people click and the watch time becomes five, 10 minutes, maybe more, then that's a very different story you then, the video has greater chances of being pushed to more people like that who may watch similar, like slower paced content. So then I'm thinking about all of that and how that wraps up into the short clips that I post. I want the short clips to emulate what to expect in the main content. Now, that, I believe, is a two-edged sword, double-edged sword again. Because if you post uh, clips that have these small little gaps in them to straight to TikTok with no editing, people are going to drop off because just that scroll rate is just so fast, so high on TikTok. So that's why I'm thinking the 1.5x speed needs to be a thing. I think either the content that goes on short form places 
has to either be cut up so that it's there's no none of those gaps, those spaces, or it needs to be sped up. And like I feel fine watching the video on 2x speed. I don't know if that's the case for other people, but like this game for me is all about trial and error. I don't know how this is meant to go. I don't know how this is meant to work. I don't know what the best strategy is. And so I, I, I think we've done, we've probably posted maybe 50 videos on each account. And I think the most is like 2000 views and that was on a YouTube short. And I know I talked to, I talk about not changing up the strategy. Like literally that was the last video was don't change up the strategy, just stick with it. But the, the <laughs> how I'm thinking of it in my mind is, okay, we've tried 50 videos. Let's try another 50 without this kind of editing. Let's just see what happens. Like small iterations. Like there's nothing stopping me from you know, saying, Oliver, no, no, you can't do that. You have to do 200 videos. You have to go for a month before you make any changes. But like, that's the amazing, this is the thing I love about, or I love and hate about social media is that you could make a change from one video to the next and see a drastic difference. I then also started thinking from the changes I made on Friday, which if I tell you my, the workflow, I had, so I have the, account, we'll call it clips, and then the account called daily, and then the account called shorts. And I was initially thinking in my head, I'll post different videos to each of those accounts. At whatever posting time it is, I'll post different videos. That way, people can follow, if they want to, they can follow each account and they'll have different content. And I was like, but that's not my game at the moment. My game isn't about... Um, whatever that is. My game is about how do I get my stuff in front of as many people as possible so that from a marketing perspective, they get their eyeballs on this product or service, me, seven or eight times before they actually decide, you know what, who the hell is this guy? I'm gonna go and search wherever these clips are coming from on YouTube. And then perhaps they decide, oh, this guy's an idiot, or actually, I quite like this drivel. <laughs> So then I changed up my automation process. So now the same video goes live on the clips daily and shorts account. And I can start to see that if that video does well on two of the accounts, but not on the other, it's possible actually that was a good piece of content, but it hit the wrong audience on one of the accounts. And I can start to better understand what type of content people enjoy and how do I uh, cut out clips that are more of that? The other benefit to all of this and not doing as much editing, like adding the retention clips and stuff, is that I can reduce my editing costs and start looking at different options. I'm also gonna try an AI editor today. I saw it last night, put him Rugi to bed. <laughs> he takes ages to go to bed at the moment, so long story short I'm thinking give that a go seems cheaper than my current editing situation and it does the cutting of the clips for me so I want to see if it actually does a good job of doing that so edited the video I'm gonna stick it up on YouTube YouTube and then get uh, yeah and then run this this thing on it additionally The shaving video that I say we closed the deal on on Friday, I expected the contracts to get signed that day, or like at least sent over that day. Didn't get any of that, so there hasn't been any movement over the weekend, and while I did a bit of planning on Saturday, I'll, I'll put that clip in after this, like I filmed myself doing a bit of planning. While I did that, I'm not gonna shoot until a contract is signed. 
like there's there's you know there's a balance of going on a that acting on goodwill and i've done that by planning out the video but if i go and shoot this video and it doesn't go through that's a waste of time on my behalf cool let's go here's here's the clip from saturday good morrow my good sausage so it's a bit of a weird one isn't it because it's saturday don't normally film but because we have this partner post to try and do early next week um i'm gonna do a little bit now while Ruki is down so i'm thinking about planning it's caramel kit kat chunky in vanilla protein yogurt from aldi pretty good okay i feel like in my neck so that's show me screen this video so this script that i'm looking at right now let me find the video should be that's part one so part here we go 5.5 .5 million and i made this video like as if i was making an ad for a brand and so I think I should get as close to this as I can. So let's, I'm just gonna play it now. This is a cutthroat razor. And last week I cut my face open trying to shave with it, trying to be a real man. So today I'm gonna try a shaver with training wheels. Prowling the Walmart clearance section, I found this Phillips one blade. And while I've heard good things about it, I can feel my ego telling me it's just not manly enough. I spread my cheeks and took the first swipe. First impressions, not as clean as my straight razor. So I held my patience and ran over the same areas a few more times, making use of the shaver for short hairs and the trimmer for the edges. Actually done a pretty good job. Could do with like a ball joint on it so it like twists. But I just couldn't shake how I could feel the testosterone coursing through my veins with every swipe of the straight razor up until I'd sliced out a piece of skin. Ow! Jinkies. I had a choice to make. Do I stroke my ego of trying to be more manly and go back to the straight razor? Or go with the safer Phillips one blade that still gave me a good shape? You see, I've always wanted to go to one of those vintage barber shops where they slap you around, make you feel like a princess with all the hot towels, the hot creams. And it was in that moment I realized I'd been so worried about my ego that I'd forgotten that all I really wanted was a good shape, no matter how I got it. This is a <laughs> So dramatic. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> like that's just not me like I'm realized I I got in to start telling stories like this style of content because like I could be me and I just like make the video how I wanted to. But as I've learned more and more about storytelling, like I've realized that I'm pandering to whatever that is. And then I'm adapting this character and make things sound way crazier, way more dramatic <laughs> than they are. So do I want that? Honestly, I mean, it's not that big of an issue for me that I'm going to call the brand and be like, I'm sorry, I've just had an existential crisis. I can't make the video that less than 24 hours ago I told you I could make and that we just signed on. Not that big of a deal. But um, what my thinking is, is do I try like to be more natural or do I stick with what I've been doing and I for the like out of the partnership I should do what I've been doing because that's essentially what they've paid for they want more of what they've seen so far so um yeah that feels weird it feels like there's a part of me that should be standing up and saying I won't make this that's not how I feel, so I don't want to portray that incorrectly. All right, the script. So the hook and the setup want. This is a straight razor, and last week I cut my face open trying to shave with it because I just want to be a real man. 
So today I'm trying a, tra trying a shaver with training wheels. So the want is that I need to not cut my face. This is weird how even my own video, I'm struggling to pick out. Right, that's it, isn't it? I want to be able to shave without cutting myself. But that is strange because that should be the whole goal of the video, not the setup want, because the setup want is normally something the person gets. And you can't get the goal of the story that early on, otherwise there's no point in the rest. So today I'm trying a shaver with training wheels. Or is the setup want to have a shaver with training wheels? Right, like that comes out of the Walmart section because it was on discount. So the point of no return is I spread my cheeks and took my first swipe. <laughs> uh, that's why I obviously start shaving the catch, but first impressions to save one that's clean. So I get, I start shaving, but actually it's not as good as I am normally used to with the straight razor. So then I try something and we then get to the crisis. <clears throat> but I couldn't shake how I could feel the testosterone. So my weakness here is that I'm I think I put it below. No, nice, Oliver. My weakness is that I want to be manly. I go at that insecurity of masculinity. And so that's what I'm moving to, or I'm moving towards realizing that that doesn't matter. So, but I couldn't shake how I could feel the testosterone coursing through my veins with every swipe of the razor until I'd slice out a piece of skin. I had choice mate, do I stroke my ego? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so the whole wanted to go to a vintage barber shop was actually um, that was the banana. And then I come to the realization that I don't, doesn't matter about, like all I really wanted was a good shave, no matter how I got it. Okay. Interessante. So let's go for new idea. We're going to do it. We'll call it. Oh gosh, what's the name of this one? It's funny, isn't it? Just changing out that name. Short form. Okay. All right. So, how do we actually go about this video? Let me stop that for now. The series is about shaving with a cutthroat razor. So, see, here's the thing about sponsored posters. They're probably not going to like the idea of me referencing another brand from the last video to be like, last time I tried this razor. but this time I'm trying this because they're number one, they're different products. So I have to find a way now to make the shift from like straight razor into beard shaving. How do I do that? Um, on it, I do feel like it has to be a similar hook to the last ones because I'm expecting this video to go out to those same people who watched the previous videos, just the way that the TikTok algorithm works. And I want them to, as soon as they start seeing the video, be like, oh, this is a follow up to the other one I watched and enjoyed. Maybe they didn't enjoy it. Maybe they <laughs> just, they were just wowed by the storyline. <laughs> um, all right. So, this is a cutthroat razor. I can't say I tried that one. 
How do I start? It's a straight razor, and last week I cut my face open. What if? Excuse me. I'm thinking that I used the straight razor at the beginning. Duda, relax. Hey, chill out. Cut myself, and I decide that I'm going to take a break from doing that, and so I start using the Panasonic. I'll tell you what's going through my mind. If I start the video off with the straight razor and the video very quickly transitions into not much about the straight razor, then I feel like I've conned people. My thinking is, what if I do the straight razor at the beginning No, what if the video really is about the straight razor? But... Oh gosh, here it goes super dramatic. I'm working myself, like in terms of confidence, I'm working myself up to use it again. So in the meantime, I'm shaving. Doing my beard hair. What are you doing, do you guys? You need to go outside? Not outside, outside, but... Good girl. Oh, shit. I just, I guess... I'm not sure how to make the transition... from straight razor... What if... Like, what if the video is about... Uh, like, a, a set structure for shaving myself with the straight razor. So, I like, go pretty roughly around all the edges. And then I use the Panasonic to clean up, to like, actually do my beard hair. And then I use the straight razor at the end. To clean up the edges. I feel like that seems the most authentic. But then the like, how do I make the story then interesting instead of just being about my process? Like his, let's just let's just think. IRL, real life. So, how do I do it normally? Shave first? No, I do trimming first, don't I? Yeah. Trim, then shave, moisturize. Oh my gosh, moisturize. So, have. Have a nice little trim. Have a shave. So then the video doesn't become, this is a straight razor, and last week I cut my face open trying to shave with it because I just want to be a real man. So today I'm trying a shaver with, change, with training wheels.
I'm trying to get out of this feeling in my head. I'm thinking that the shave and the trim are two separate things. When actually they're not. Like they're part of the same. So is this series really about the straight razor? Or is it about my beard? <laughs> I think it's about the straight razor. So how do I change that? How do I shift it from being about the straight razor? So maybe instead of this is a straight razor and go into that, it's I've been using a straight razor to shave. Bro, why am I coming up empty? Um, so I've been, this is a straight razor. Like I go from the straight razor has been great and I've been practicing or whatever. Dude. What if I just forget this script? Forget this. Um. Okay, let's forget, let's forget the previous videos. You can't see nothing, can you? Whoopsie daisy. Whoops, Boba. Probably can't see much from there either, can you? Bit better. All right, let's say, um, Oliver, you have been using a cutthroat razor. Let's just throw ideas down here. Um, no, let's not put them down, but so you've been using a cutthroat razor, which is great for the shave, but it doesn't shave the, it doesn't trim the beard. So now I'm going to try this one. Um, so SR straight razor equals bad because no trim. Um, try Panasonic trimmer for everything. Yes. Okay, here's, here's so, <laughs> try Panasonic trimmer for everything. Quickly realize I'll need to straight razor, oh, SR um, at end. Um. Yeah, quickly realize I'll need to straight razor at end or after. I'm thinking at end because I want them to know it'll be there at the end of the video. So instead of after, it's like, I don't know, before end of video, and then I can think about it more. Quickly realize I need to straight raise after. So then, uh, 
I go about cutting my beard. Hmm. No, here's an idea. Where is it? You must be in here. Where are you, little one? Are you in here or are you upstairs? Oh, come on! Dude, I was a bit naughty last night. I bought normal... Sk you can't see me down here, can you? Normal Skittles to make a video of... Um, like, how many you can fit in your mouth. Stupid, I know. But I ate the original's box last night. So that was great. Dude, I know I have it somewhere. But I have to make sure that I do actually have it before I start going down this rabbit hole. Where are you, you wee batty boy? Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to say that, sorry. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny, but if you find it offensive, sorry. It's just not my intention. Um, I should probably tell you what it is I'm looking for, isn't it? It's like an apron that sticks to the glass or the mirror so that all your beard has fall into it. This is it. Oh gosh, where is it? I might have to prime it. Let me write these thoughts down. So, um, my problem is that beard hair goes everywhere. Oh! This is my SR and While I've been cutting my f face open with it, my wife getting, I don't know where I'm going with this, annoyed. God, I'm slow at writing. Annoyed with beard hair everywhere. Probably an E on the end of that one. All right, my thinking of this is that actually the video very quickly shifts from, uh, sorry, now I'm trying to combine the shave with the trim by saying like they're together as one process. And my wife gets annoyed with the hair I leave everywhere, so I use this thing. I'm really, I will be really annoyed, I won't be really annoyed, but I'll be frustrated. <laughs> If I can't find this. The fricker those. I wonder if I've taken it upstairs. I really hope I've taken it upstairs. Oh, there it is. Dude, okay. <laughs> this is not This is this is not what I just described. This is far worse. So this. Look at that. That is quite something, isn't it? Is it going that way I'm a big boy. Perfect. So that thing. All right, so if, if we think about this being the storyline, um, the setup want is to 
Um, let's say the setup one is to not have beard hair. Beard hair mess. All right, so we don't want to have a beard hair mess. The point of no return is to put on, I, what the hell do I call that? Beard, hair, catcher for now, until I figure out what the flipping name is. Not have beard hair mess, put on beard hair, catcher. The catch is that I'm going to have to take it off when I use the straight razor. That's one option. Have to take off for... That wasn't actually my first thought. Um, let me write down my other thought and then I'll share why I had this one. Um, all right, so my, my first is that it's not easy to shave, obviously, I think that's pretty obvious. But then I had the idea of, I have to take this off to straight raise because I want some, I want the viewer to think there is going to be some straight razor stuff in here. I haven't just stopped on a video about a straight razor to not see any. So I really want to somehow work that in earlier. Um, so then... I guess I'm doing the actual trimming, and then what is the problem? The catch is that the crisis is how do I get it off without making a mess? Maybe I need to make it obvious that this, this isn't about straight raising, straight raises a ring. Um, here's where I think the banana is that I just shower with everything. Everything. Because <laughs> uh, obviously the options here are like carefully take off. Use vacuum. Uh, that's a bit of a banana one, I think. Ask my wife to suck them off. We'll see. No, that's a bit weird. I don't want to go that direction. Uh, but I do think pick them off one by one. And then I need to work in whatever a flaw and a strength is for the finale. And obviously what happens in here, the process of trying not to make the mess. All right, well, Rugi's up. So I'm, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we are there, there so far. I'll just have a little, another little look at it. But yeah, I'm excited to make this one. Maybe like, it feels weird to ask you to, I don't know, because I'm going to have the camera on while I shave. I guess you'll be watching that too. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right, cool. And I don't think I'll film it today. I think I'll film it tomorrow. So same vid. Later, later loser. Hello, you filthy bag of sand. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I would like to try something. So I, I had a look at spikes.ai, what was it called? Uh, let me share my screen. There we go, share the screen. I had a look at, yes, yeah, Spikes Studio. All right. And then I watched some dude's video where he broke it down and 
for what I'm looking for, it's pretty garbage. I would like to just send a video in, does everything, and then, you know, downloads, I can put it to a folder. But I would have to go through the process of uploading the file, setting where I want the position to be, the text, like the look of the text, and then I'd have to export it. There's lots of steps to it, and that's per clip. So I thought, let's take my video from today. I've, uh, the red markers you see here are all the clips that I want to turn into actual clips. So I'm thinking, first thing, can I, I'm wondering if I can actually just show the items that are, oh wait, what if I did, I don't know if that will work, I just copied all of those, nice dude, that, that was sweet, yeah, so that didn't work as I expected, so I'm going to have to go in and copying each of these one by one this is a bit of a pain really but trust me uh, you know what let's rec time this all right I'm gonna set a timer that's the calculator stopwatch are you ready three two one go one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. God, I've got a lot of rubbish to talk about, haven't I? So if I get all those in there, yeah, I'm gonna have to delete all this blank space. I wish there was a quicker way to do that, but I don't know it. All right, then uh, let's get all of these shaped up properly. I think I want like this kind of shape. Yep, and then go to Captionator. This is actually a pretty cool. Hold on a minute. I don't know why it said there were two clips in there. It's actually a pretty cool like third party app that someone has built. It allows you to do captions in Final Cut Pro and save a preset. This isn't available in Final Cut, like captions aren't really available in Final Cut Pro like they are for Premiere Pro or something. So this is kind of a game changer. Wow, what a game changer. I have no idea how many clips I said were in here. 22. Okay, so this is the preset that I set up. So I think it's, it's working on it, yes. So you have to select the file, choose. Two minutes in at the moment. This isn't too bad. Okay, grab this. Copy those. Come back. Oh, slow. Paste on top of there. And then, I'm not sure if I have to let it render. But from here, I could copy the caption I wanted, export. That's not the setting, so let's change it to Apple devices. And then this will all start. Like this part is pretty monotonous, but I think it's going to go to the same to the right place. So that one I'll have to come back to. I wasn't sure what the caption would be. See, like, look how...
This is, that's four videos already. Oh, wait, I'm a donkey. I've done this wrong up to that point. I wanted everything to be at 1.5x speed. So let me stop that. Stop all of those from sharing. Come on, pal. I should have done this before I added captions. Show there. Custom speed. This and I get the dog in. Come on in. Good girl. Right, now my problem is the fact that there are all the captions. Did the captions not change speed? The captions don't change speed. So like look. Yeah, that looks gross. I'm gonna have to start this again if I'm gonna Hi Duda. Well essentially you've seen the process that I then just export all of those and I would have the time it takes. So I'm going to delete everything and start again to get the right time. It And I'm not going to put you through that, am I? You poor soul. Okay. Look at this. This is, I love it, but I, I honestly, there's a part of me that really hates it. I know you're thinking, how, how dare you do that to a dog? But when... She needs the attention the whole time. Watch. Pretending I'm doing something. Oh yes, what am I doing over here? Dude, you're not you're not proving my point very well. Hmm. What's that? There we go. There we go. I thought that was coming. I thought that was coming. <laughs> Look, and then drops her pause that. Do you want to lie up on your seat? Go on, lie on your seat. I've got to redo this. Can you jump on your seat? Up here, Judah. Come here. Good girl. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to do this again. Okay, I'm at 9 minutes 30 right now. And four of those minutes were just my computer being slow. Like, like where I'm where I'm moving too fast and my computer can't give up because I'm that fast. I'm ultra, ultra quick man boy. Not where I planned on going with it. Um, but I, yeah, we've got 20 clips. They're currently just exporting. So this is something I could just leave to do when I go to the gym. And then it's a case of just dropping these into a Google Drive folder and then the automation runs itself. So. I would say it takes me it takes me an hour to edit in the morning and then 6 minutes to make 20 clips. It is not worth me spending so right now 20 at $2.50 why can't I work this out to that's $500. Yeah, it cost me $500. What am I what? 250 times 20. 250 times 10, 25, cost me $50 for six minutes of my work. Yeah, I'm going to say right now, that's probably not worth it. If I get to a point where I decide I'm not going to be the one to pull the clips anymore, then yeah, this very much changes. But as of right now, where every morning I pull the clips I need, this is, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? And I prefer the look of this versus the retention ones. We've got like a hundred videos already edited, already in the Google Drive folder to go live. So if I post five different videos a day, 
it's going to take us 20 days to get through those. But I'll tell you what is interesting here is that the money I've saved here, five, what are you doing, dude? Five, six hundred dollars a month easily pays for, uh, gives me more credits for automation. So I just have to pump out, I just have to update my automations to do more in a day. Yeah. I, like everything's done now, 12 minutes. So if I take off four minutes from that, from the moment I start the whole process, it takes me under eight minutes. And two or three of those minutes, I don't even have to be sat here for. That's crazy, okay. I guess time to fire my editor. Cool, that, I mean, that's good. That's good news. Essentially, this means I can pump out more content for a fraction of the cost and I don't have to depend on someone else to be reliable. That's good. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. I like that. Um, what was I going to do next? I think I have to finish planning this because my manager and the other guy are... are I guess they got a contract sent over in the last hour. It's currently 20 to 12 on Monday. I've only got a day and a half to shoot and edit. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not happy about that. Like this conversation started early last week, perhaps even the week before. And it's taken all the way up to now to work through this. Here's, here's the, I haven't had this conversation with anyone, so it's not like um, it's been through, I don't know, any kind of filter, so I'm just speaking my mind. One of the problems you get as a creator is when you have a manager, the manager is meant to be the one dealing with all the contract negotiations, all, all of that stuff, right? And then you have the agency member or the brand and those two are connecting, those two are working together, but getting the contracts and stuff done in a timeline where the rate has been set based on how much time is available to make the video. Like we knew this timeline was tight, but it's gotten way tighter. It's gotten, I'd say two, three, two and a half days tighter. It's taken two and a half days off of my timeline that I have to make a video. But it doesn't matter to either of those two because I'm the one that has to rush. The rate can't really change, you know, unless, I mean, that's kind of a hard discussion to have. The rate can't really change at this point. Maybe it should. Um, but then you have like the other side of things, like this is the beginning of a partnership. Do you want to act in good faith and whatnot? I don't know, but it basically means if this contract gets done in the next hour or two, I only have a day and a half to get this shot, which might seem like not much. But when you look at it from the perspective of this isn't just one of my videos going out, this is a video for a brand, and I want to make sure that I'm providing value for that brand, for what they're paying for. And a part of me, I just don't feel like I've been given the time to be able to do that properly. And perhaps I should communicate that. I should communicate that. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like just based on the communication that's happened, There, like, I have agreed to getting one done early this week. I know that was before, like, everything, like, all this stuff got delayed. I guess I just need to start adding a clause in that if certain things, like, if the contract isn't signed by this amount of days before the post is meant to be drafted to go live, 
then there should be a discussion there, whether that's a change in price or changing the deadline or changing the scope of the work involved, project management background, then that is what it is. All right, let's, let's get working on this video. Yes. All right, so the deal, everything's done. Okay, we got the extra, the rush fee. So I thought, um, well, I, did, I don't know wh where that was. Anyway, I went to go get an oil change done on the car. And normally I just do the oil change at home. But this car, we bought new, we wanted a new car for having a child. And um, <laughs> get a couple of complimentary ones. So I took it over to get done. It took bloody ages. But it gave me a chance to sit and work through the script. So I've gotten that finished. I've gotten a nice... I took a photo of myself before by accident. <laughs> Look, <it's, laughs> I was going to film myself, but I thought it was just really weird and it's not the type of place where like everyone would just be weirded out by it. I don't think it's right for everyone. So I started off, I thought I'll take a quick photo, but this is what I have captured. So that's great. I've, um, yeah, just a photo of myself. And then, and then this, this was my, my workstation. Look at that, lovely. You don't get that kind of workstation every day, do you? But I got the video done, so now it is 6.30. Um, brought food home, like finish, with, like I just bathed Rugi. And now Shay is like reading him some books. And then I'll go up and get, him into, we'll go and get into bed about seven o'clock, so 30 minutes from now. And then I plan on filming this in the bathroom. Like it really shouldn't take me too long, but I kind of, I wanted to go through my script one more time. So if we, if we follow this board here, this, this Schmeagel thing. So we have our hook, which is actually, I, I've, I've heavily relied, excuse me, I've heavily relied on a previous shaving video where I did the, the Philips one blade um, and, and written some kind of a similar script and then I just ended up getting into it, getting into that, that flow state. Ooh, yeah, ooh. So, hook. This is a cutthroat razor and I keep cutting my face open trying to shave with it because it makes me feel like a peaky blinder. Hey, doodle. Hey, come back here. What do you think you're doing? You too, Lila, you weirdo. What are you guys doing? That's right, you're being inbreds. Both of you, inbreds. Probably from the same family, you inbred. You too, you definitely, Lila, you're 100% inbred. Because <laughs> uh, it makes me feel like a peaky blinder. I'm not really sure about that part. So today I'm trying a shave for the modern Peaky Blinder. Right, because last time my script was going from using the straight razor, the cutthroat razor, to then using the Philips one. So I said this is a straight razor and last week I cut my face open trying to shave with it because I just want to be a real man. So last time the video was about wanting to become a real man, but this one was trying to become a modern Peaky Blinder. But I'm not sure, I don't think that really fits, because like, I think we'll see in a second. And then the setup want, so here, my last shave, or my last shaving TikTok hit 5.5 million views, but all I remember was my wife telling me how much of a mess my beard hair made, so to be a better husband, I'm using her mustache hair catcher. And that is this thing. This rather fetching thing. I don't, I'm still not sure if it goes that way or this way. I mean, either way, it looks pretty horrendous. But I like the idea of this being on because I think people will find it amusing or like, what the hell is that? It has to go this way, surely. Because...
And I think these are meant to hold it up, but honestly. Well, there, maybe. Look, I'm not expecting to get too many DMs after wearing that in a video. And I like the joke of, of saying that it's her mustache hair catcher. I think the flaw in here is that um, I'm worried of making a mess. And then the strength out of that should be that actually she's not annoyed about the mess. It's that I should have cleared it up. It's still kind of a work in progress. After a few quick strokes around the cheeks, and then I'll say something like, it's no cutthroat razor, but the hair catcher was doing its job. Like, because this shaver, um, after a few quick strokes around the cheeks, I guess this wasn't designed for a close shave. But the hair catcher was doing its job. So that's the want. The point of no return is me putting the thing on and starting to shave. But the catch is that the shaver I'm using wasn't designed for a close shave. But how does that test my floor? I don't know. I don't know yet. The hair catcher was doing its job. The last one was trying to be a real man. I thought the straight razor would make me into a real man. Like I'm thinking I could just use the same like floor and turning it into a strength as before, but <laughs> my goal by making this somewhat similar is to hit that same audience again so that they get served this video because they enjoyed it last time. But if I run the same like type of storyline to the same audience, then it just it doesn't work. So I have to build a different storyline. Like what's the, what's the driver? Something that changes me. Anyway, I think I can still figure that out. <clears throat> so as we get into the process section, knowing, knowing I'd have to come back with the cutthroat razor, I moved on to trimming my beard, making use of the snap-on comb with some long, snow, slow strokes. So that's also uh, talking about one of the talking points that they have, the snap-on comb. And then I say, this hair catcher is a pain in the buttocks like, because I'm having to shave around it. But it was saving me from my wife. That bit's voiceover. That was until I got, my, got to my longer chin hair and while the cutting was smooth, I could see hairs flying off. With each stroke, it was as if the hairs were trying to get me in trouble with my wife when she could walk in at any moment. So I'm trying to build up the suspense here that like hairs are going everywhere so the beard catcher isn't doing its job and I don't want my wife to walk in because I think that she's going to be upset the hairs are everywhere. And then we get to our climactic choice, which, so we've had our crisis. Climactic choice here is, I thought about picking up my hairs one by one and finishing the shave outside, but that just seemed ridiculous. And I'm saying that seems ridiculous because it builds into what happens next. And I think this is where I'm like looking in the mirror thinking, where could I go where it's warm and my wife wouldn't mind there being hairs? And that's when I'm in the shower. But then I think about, like, we need some kind of payoff. Because the payoff isn't 
getting a done like a clean shave that's or a trimming my beard hair that's not but it is the tr the payoff is the learning point in this video that actually yeah it's not about making a mess it's about cleaning up the mess oh i literally have a peaky blinder type hat that honestly I'll never wear outside of this video. I just, it was given to me as a gift, very nice gift. Not quite my cup of tea. Okay, so the banana is, where could I go where it was warm my wife wouldn't mind there being hairs? Hmm, I don't know if I need all of that wording. I think I can just go with being in the shower. Shaving. Uh, the like here. <clears throat> I think it would be kind of cool to do, like I'm, I'm staring into the mirror, or I'm staring at the shaver in hand, and the dry slash shave, dry slash wet that's on the front of the razor, like having a shot of that, and then my face, and then that going closer in, and then my face closer in, as if like that's what gives me the idea, while also talking about one of the selling points that can be, that can be used in the wet. I thought about picking up my hairs one by one and finishing my shave outside, but that just seemed ridiculous. So taking ad advantage of the uh, what's it called? Waterproof? I, I feel like I should just cut to being in the shower. I don't think I need to say anything about, like, it's obvious that if it's in the shower, it's waterproof. Um, so, in the shower, shaving. And then it's something like Shea comes in. Hmm. Here's the, th the thing that I'm really, just based on the timing and the way this has gone, it hasn't fit in, but the name of the product is, I mean, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of like Sony's naming conventions. The Panasonic ERGB42K. I'm sorry, what, where, what does half of that mean? Doesn't make any sense. I think what, what's really interesting too is like in the brief here from the brand, I've noticed in a lot of <clears throat> these, <laughs> you playing football, Judah? Yeah, Judah. A lot of these, the content ideas that they may provide are like morning routines or like the standard type of video that used to do really well on TikTok or Instagram like three years ago. They're kind of like super, I don't mean this in a uh, negative sense but they're kind of like basic stuff, you know? Like there's no real thought in a morning routine type video unless it's trying some other kind of morning routine or unless you're, you know, your followers really want to see a morning routine from you because you're something special. Well, yeah, watch me come out with a morning routine sometime in the future and you can just call this one back and be like, it's basic stuff, Oliver, it's basic stuff. And I'll be like, you know what? 
I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> All right, something, uh, so we have the banana that I'm in the shower shaving it. I think that's the point that Shay comes in. Uh, and it's something like, bro, what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? Um, uh, oh, uh, yeah, so that's what Shay says. And then I would say, I'm trying not to make a mess for you. It's not the mess I care about. It's just that you clean up after. Like, I like that message. Look at this. The um, thing that I need to use for the shaving video is what Doodah's sat on. Is that comfy, Doodah? Oh, yeah, is that comfy? Good girl. She loves it. Um, yeah, the reason I brought up the brief was that I I don't have the name of it in here anywhere. I, I just, I can't very easily say WKGM56 K, right? That just doesn't fit. And then it feels like an ad and it just, it's silly. Because like, if I was gonna make my own video just about the product, I I just can't see myself being like, this is the Panasonic freaking Timbuktu or whatever. That doesn't mean to say that I don't care about the product and what I'm trying to do. It's that I care more about the viewing experience and not feeling like you're being sold to. Because to me, that's important. I want to be able to, I think this is where we are in 2023, going in 2024. People don't want to be sold to. They don't want to feel like they're being sold to. No, that's, that's not, the first part was right. People don't want to feel like they're being sold to, but people do want to be sold to. I don't know, that's just, a, it's just an incredible epiphany that I've just come up with. No idea if, if I really believe that or not. I think I do. I think that makes a lot of sense. Like people want to buy stuff that they think they'll need or think they want, but they don't want to feel like it's been pushed on them. Yeah. Um. I'm trying not to make a mess for you. Shay, it's not the mess I care about. It's just that you clean up. Like I'd love, like this is just my sense of humor and I, you know, if, if we're gonna go down one direction of being mean, it, it, what am I trying to say? Like, for how stupid this is, and if we think about the way we used to use the term retarded, I think it would be funny if Shay were to come in and be like, it's not the mess I care about, it's just that, it's just that you clean up after and you look like the retarded Peaky Blinder. Right, just because I look so stupid and then we're linking back in the Peaky Blinder bit. Any shot we could get that into a branded post? I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll see what I can do. Bro, I have so many questions. Um, what if instead of bro, 
Like that's actually how we talk to each other. We're like bro or dude or something weird like that. It is Thomas Shelby. Mr. Shelby, I have so many questions for you. Mr. Shelby, what are you doing? Okay, I'm trying not to make a mess for you. It's not the mess I care about, it's just that you clean up after. Yeah. All right, let's, um, let's step this onto the board here. It's not very... See, see, what an idiot. I've come over here to look at the screen, forgetting that the camera is going to focus on me. I, I don't know. I, Lila. Okay, let me, I'm just going to fit it onto here. Never mind, I am going to go help put Rugi to bed and I'll run it through here and then I'll go up and shoot it. See you in a bit. I'm so excited to shave, by the way. I've literally, I was meant to shave last Monday, but then this email came in and I've just been holding off ever since. And like even last Monday was way overdue. So look at this dirty ass neck beard. Oh, it's filthy. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> um, since I have a lot of followers on TikTok, I now get to play the card. So I've just asked my friend if he wants to play Fortnite. Uh, he said Chiefs versus Eagles is on right now, which honestly is not the reason I wore this shirt today. I had no idea they were playing. Uh, I've told him it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to play with a world famous odd right. How can you give that up? <sighs> anyway, um, aside from just watching a video of Dave Portnoy just slaughter this girl over her trying to call him out for stealing something, first of all, that was hilarious. Um, second thing, I had a thought, like I, I fully planned on like, coming down reviewing this and then doing the video, but I thought this is a a video where if I don't, get the shots I need to shave properly, if I don't have this figured out, I don't get, I don't get a second chance. This means I would lose out on everything if I don't get the shots I need. Um, so I think I'd, I'll finish planning out. And then I can come at this with fresh eyes tomorrow morning and shoot it. Should only take me an hour or so to shoot. Because um, like it puts me in this mixed phase of, don't just put it off, like get it done. Like you can do it now. That's one phase and the other phase is, yeah, but if you do it now and you haven't like properly thought it through, you haven't given yourself a time to think about it, the risk is so high. I think that's what I'm saying. The risk outweighs the reward of doing it right now. All right, it's the cutthroat phaser. So the want is to not make mess. Mess for wife. And the flaw is that I don't understand like why making a mess is an issue. Uh, so we've got that. Um, the point of no return is that I start shaving, surprisingly, so it's either start shaving or the um, beard, the hair catcher. Right, then the catch is... Um, this... Uh, not designed for close shave. Um, process one um, is use the snap 
comb. Um, and the result is a hair catcher in the way. Right. Uh, and then that was until I got to my longer chin hair. Uh, so cut long hair. And hair's flying off. And then we get to our crisis. Um, keep cutting. Our crisis point is a hairy mess wife could walk in. And then we have our climactic choice, which is pick up hairs, sh shave outside. And then the banana is obviously in shower shaving. And I, that's to show off. Yes, it's a banana, it's like a crazy shift. Not something people are expecting, but it also shows off that it's waterproof. I'm not, like, I know I've already explained that in the video. I feel like I'm just kind of like saying it for myself. And then the finale is the kind of teaching point that I now understand that it's not about making mess. It's about cleaning up. I like that, all right. Well, I'm gonna end the video there and first thing tomorrow morning, we'll start shooting this. I did actually see that my video I posted yesterday has got a whopping 10 views, but the average watch time is 10 minutes 40. It's pretty good, isn't it? And then the day before that, so three days ago, 19 views, average watch time, two minutes and 20. I, I will be very interested that if, you know, if this starts going anywhere, what does uh, watch time look like? If the videos start doing really well, is watch time gonna be something like 40 minutes on a two hour video? That seems, that seems crazy to me. 40 minutes, Yankee Doodle. All right, cool. Well, copy all this footage over. See you tomorrow. Let's film a side quest. <laughs>